create a credentialed scan, log into Tenable IO and click on the scans at the uh, top of the, the nav bar. Then click New Scan. In this example, we're going to use Credential Patch Audit, but credentialed scanning can be done with any template. So we want to give the scan a name. I'm just going to call it Credential Patch Audit. Now make sure to select one of your scanners, not our cloud scanners. So I'm going to use my demo scanner and then enter your target. I'm just going to scan one particular asset, but you can scan multiple assets with credential scans. Next thing we do is click on the credentials tab. We'll be doing a credentialed uh, scan of a Linux system, so we'll need SSH. And in this particular example, we're just going to use a username and password, so I'm going to select the password option. Now we enter in the username and the super safe password. Now, uh, entering the username and password is, is great, but most Linux systems are not going to let you see very much as a non-privileged user, so you'll also want to elevate your privileges so you can get more detailed information. So we're going to change this elevate privileges with from nothing to SU. And then we're going to give it the root password for the system. Um, now, what you can do is you can also save these credentials into the, the Tenable Credential Manager so they can be reused in other scans. But in this case, I'm just going to use it in this scan, so I'm just going to click on Save. And then you can launch the scan. Uh, I have a credential patch out that I've already completed in my credentialed scans folder. So let's look at this one here, credential patch audit with SU. Now, if I click on the vulnerabilities tab, we can see all the uh, various vulnerabilities that we've discovered, but there's also the Nessus Scan Information Plugin. <clears throat> and if we click on this, we're going to see down here a part called Credential Checks. And we see, yes, it was done with the user JSmith via SSH. Now let's look into some of the issues you might run into when doing credentialed scans. One of the, uh, the things that I often get uh, asked about is what this message scan forbidden means. This indicates that you were using a cloud scanner uh, from Tenable IO, so trying to scan from an external scanner into your internal systems. That's not going to work. You need to use an internal scanner, so you're going to see this scan forbidden message if you've selected the wrong scanner. Now, provided you selected the correct scanner, you could still have some failures. Um, if we look at, uh, what do we have here? Unsuccessful credentialed audit. Okay, so in this example, if we click on vulnerabilities, we're going to see a plugin fired that says authentication failure, local checks not run. So that's an indication that it couldn't log in with my J Smith account. Could be that I, I gave it the wrong account name, that account doesn't exist, or password's wrong. Um, you'll also notice there's a lack of vulnerabilities uh, being reported from this scan because it wasn't able to even log in to see um, anything on the system. So definitely uh, keep an eye out for this. And then there's one other uh, issue that can come up. Uh, if you have uh, elevated privileges that aren't actually elevating. So if you go under vulnerabilities here, you will see uh, SSH command required privileged escalation. And if we click on this output, we can see that it's saying the commands failed due to lack of privilege escalation. So this is an example of uh, either I gave it the wrong password for the root account, or if I was using another method to escalate privileges, the credentials were wrong or I wasn't allowed. 